Ramble. This podcast is brought to you by Shopify and Bubba Rose and Potluck and Poppet Pal and a million other businesses. Why so many? Because we're sponsored by Shopify and they do everything they can to support the independent businesses on their platform. So they included them in this sponsorship. You know, we use Shopify and everything we do. It really helps us run our business. We love it. You should see all the ways Shopify is supporting independence at shopify.com slash independence. Shopify, supporting independence. Thank you to Native Deodorant and Shopify for sponsoring today's episode of the podcast. Welcome to the Tripod. It is a beautiful, bright, and sunny day. Daylight savings time. That means we all lost sleep. That means we're all having extra caffeine this morning. We're all feeling good. You got your regular bros. You got your Ned. Hey. You got your Eugene. Hi. Zach's not here yet. (laughs) <laughs> Keith is here, though, and Miles is here as always. Oh, gross. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> not a good sound. No. <laughs> not you know, a good sound at all. It's one of those oh, weird mouth horrible. sounds. Wake up with a kiss from me. Whoa. What's my worst mouth sound? <laughs> Ew. Really, I know what that mine was- is. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. like slipping and a boba. half of our listeners have already tuned out. <laughs> well, what is done. the worst mouth sound? Yeah, what's the worst one you can make? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, how about. Uh, <laughs> pretty good. That's pretty oh, good. That feels that like one, that one was yeah. fun. Yeah, I like that. All of those sounds could be like a, a weird space octopus monster, Ooh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the sound of someone um, almost about to vomit. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I can't do that. No, that some gross. people. No, <laughs> Ned, Ned, no. are you one of the people who like almost needs to vomit when you see someone? Yes, about to? I am. A wow. best. I vomited for the first time in <gasps> years last week. Oh, what? Wait, for why? What why? Okay, so for I. Why? Have, I <laughs> <laughs> for why? For why? <laughs> for why, Keith? Okay, here's the thing. I have always, since I've been a kid, gotten like nauseous. I've gotten the feeling of car sickness, mm-hmm. but never in my life have I actually thrown up from riding in the back of a car mm. until last week after our boxing video that we shot. <gasps> guys, get ready. There's a boxing video coming. Yeah. Uh, try, we, guys, try boxing. We had this long, Ned and I were in the back of, a, of an Uber all the way from Santa Monica to Los Feliz. It was an hour and a half in the back of an Uber through traffic, oh. herky jerky driving. And I was not even a less than a mile from home. And I was like, I'm going to get out of the car and walk. See you later, Ned. And I got out of the car and immediately vomited <laughs> no. just a little bit. But I was like, wow, I've never actually vomited from car sickness before or motion sickness. It was like, oh, no, I'm that age where now I am fully a person. When I look at the sign on a roller coaster, it says, do you get motion sickness? I have to say, that's you. Yes. I do. Oh. Yeah, but you were also physically exhausted. I was also yeah. physically yeah. drained. I mean, I'm sure the boxing. Here we go. Oh, there he is. Good morning. Oh, okay. Oh, God, okay. Bowie. It's chaos. Oh, no. I've got tea. I've got very the hot dog tea. Dog is here. Uh, oh, bumping all right, Zach's dog's bumping every <laughs> single <laughs> every camera and microphone. Is now a jar. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Bowie just came in and wreaked havoc on the right, studio. Okay, let me go put my dog away. I'll be right back. But now we'll shit talk. When you get back, we want to hear your worst mouth sound. Yeah, then, that's what we want to hear. We're talking about mouth on. sounds, dude. Okay, be right back. You're welcome. Anyhow, that, that was a Injection whirlwind. Of chaos. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, Keith, the boxing was one of the most intense like exertions of, of my life, surely. I mean, at the end, we did three three minute rounds, so nine minutes of effort. Yeah. But at the end, like I was shaking. My I body, I put yeah. my hands out and they were like, yeah. blah, 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 like it was tremoring. Drained. I mean, I definitely like in that car ride had a whole bottle of power aid and a whole bottle of water. So my stomach, my belly was full of liquid. Mm-hmm. So maybe that was also part of it. It's weird because for anyone who does like any sort of athletics, the idea of nine minutes doesn't sound that much. It doesn't. On oh. paper. But then imagine uh, like sprinting on a treadmill for nine minutes straight mm-hmm. while trying to kill the treadmill yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and not get killed by yeah. the other treadmill that's, that's next like yeah. that's like high intensity combat sports yeah those, yeah. those guys it was, are it just was, crazy it was yeah. the most effort at all can i brag about myself one more time yeah, yeah. so the next day uh, on saturday so saturday i was like i need to go to orange theory i haven't worked out i've been like traveling i need to actually go use this thing that I pay however much a month money a month I pay mm-hmm. for. And I went in and it was a tornado day, which means every two minutes you switch where you are. And normally I don't get a good workout on that because I can't get my heart rate up. Mm. But this time 
in the 50 minute workout, I burned 915 calories, Whoa, which nice. was like, I was exhausted. Seems like a lot. It was. I have no point of reference. Double. 2,000 in a day. Double what I normally would work at. Like normally I have 500 ish is where I hit in a nice wow. strong workout. So I was like double exhausted on Sunday from boxing and from, you know, actually yeah. working out on my own. But I feel I mean, good. So one thing that people can look forward to is we did a a Ned versus Eugene fight. Oh, it was we, crazy. We, we pitted the most athletic members of our group against each other. What? Uh, it, yeah. it, my words, not yours. Uh, <laughs> and it was it was intense. I think some people. No, there's a there's a reason we don't fight each other in videos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because we're both very very intense people. I mean, uh, after, after the fight, the one of the trainers I was talking to said she enjoyed watching it so much because she was like well you lost all the technique but that was a street brawl <laughs> yeah. she said that, that was like she was like train people don't even go that that mean at each other <laughs> you never gave up after yeah. about a minute and a half there was zero blocking yeah. there, we they were just, just their hands were down <laughs> and they were just punching <laughs> and not just absorbing yeah. hits like you, crazy you look at the video of us and it's like immediately our hands drop like to our sides so we're only going at it with our right arms we're both right handed so it's like all of our left I was like why does my left Side temple hurt, hurt more than so my much, right temple yeah. why does my yeah. left rib hurt <laughs> Because we only just took hits on our left side. <laughs> Without blocking. No blocking. Yeah. Only right-handed. Yeah. I mean, we we really uh, feel proud of of, of uh, pushing non-toxic masculinity and talking about, you know, it's okay to be yourself. You don't have to, like, kill yourself to compete. Mm -hmm. But I we have to – it's moments like that where you have to see Ned and I have come a very long way because we were not just competitive people. We were more competitive than the most people, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah. that's why we just like, it was only one video we've actually mm -hmm. gone head dead, which was the Olympics video. Mm -hmm. And that's when we uh, wrestled naked in Manure. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and I learned something on that day, which was uh, it's, n you know, just being competitive is not always doesn't always make for a good video. In this case, it did, but yeah, yeah. And, uh, on that suit shoot day, I remember I wanted to win, and I wasn't even thinking about was this good for the video or not. Mm -hmm. Turns out it was, because people <laughs> like people trying their best. Trying their hardest. But, you know, it's always good to keep in mind that uh, we're also making content. Mm -hmm. But the, that video for the boxing video, the silliness grinded to an absolute halt at a certain point <laughs> in the day. It was a yeah. lot of jokes, a lot of fun. It's silly, <laughs> com fun, competitive nature. We're about to get started. And then once the fighting started, it was just like, this is a totally different video. <laughs> it's so intense. Well, Everybody's I just mean, watching their boxes. Do, uh, their bosses yeah. just box each other. I was like, Jesus. I think like, we, we needed to, you know, as try guys, we go into a new uh, sport or culture and we really embrace what is you know, known about that sport, I think it would have been doing it a disservice mm -hmm. if we didn't yeah. actually Take try to yeah. do totally, yeah. serious boxing. Yeah. Now, we, we could have been at better at blocking. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was like, we were taking it seriously, but also very unskilled. Yeah. I mean, even, I don't know if you guys talked about this, but even me and Keith were, were the goofy ones. I, I you know, I yeah. was training all day and I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I want to see what I can do. I want to try and do this right. So I think that's why I try normally to not be competitive in videos. And I do think first and foremost, what's the funniest thing? Because when you let yourself be competitive, it, it, you, it can really easily get taken away. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, you'll be happy to know, Keith, that the sh my shoulder has been been in so much pain <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so you're the one that was already hurt or the other one the one that was already hurt mm. so well, that I, was your left one right yeah and that was the only one i could hit so <laughs> <laughs> oh maybe that's what well, I we, it was we had this i mean I'll, a little bit of a spoiler but zach and i agreed we wouldn't punch each other in the face i didn't think about how oh, there was no way i could hit zach's tiny body at all if i couldn't hit him in the face so like there was nothing i could do except occasionally literally shove his arms away from his right side and just punch him in the <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could do. That was the only thing I could do on offense. Eugene and I were texting each other over the weekend, like, how you feeling? Like, how's the pain mm -hmm. level? I feel like we shot on Thursday, and it took probably until, like, Saturday or Sunday mm -hmm. for the pain to fully oh, yeah, mm -hmm. My fully arms subside. are so sore, too. Just my biceps and my forearms. Every part. My forearms. Sore. 
So what uh, what was this about gross ma- gross mouth sounds that I missed? Well, it just happened. It was oh, a yeah, magical. that was the yeah. intro. Was oh, magical. Give us your, what's yeah. your grossest mouth sound you can make on the pod? I don't know the grossest one, but the one that comes to mind is I used to you know flap my cheeks. Oh, that's a good back one. and forth. The- flap your cheeks. Yeah. Oh, oh, that one's horrible. It's so similar mm. to mine, except I do it without my hands. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That, oh yeah, that's uh, yeah, a little yeah. octopi. Sound. Yeah, my little octopi. It's it's supposed to be like tentacles being unstuck. Like. But very oh, quickly. God. That is good, Foley. <laughs> Keith, you did a show at the Comedy Store. Yeah, I played the Comedy Store for the first time. That's dope. It was so cool. It was uh, not the biggest room, but it was like the second biggest room. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was for a fundraiser for uh, a a private school. And it was so it was all parents of the private school. So we kind of agreed to do it because we figured, well, if it's a private school in L.A., parents are probably rich. If they're rich in L.A., they probably work in media. So probably a good opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, it was a very fun Galaxy show. Galaxy brain thinking. But it was one of those things where, I, you know, normally we play for college age kids and they love the show. Uh, but I never played for like an audience of only 40 plus in uh, with Lou Berger. So I didn't know how they'd like it. And it turns out they love it even more than the college students. So that was very <laughs> cool to see that our demo. Raunchy parents. And we didn't even sing yeah. raunchy songs, but there was one raunchy comic, and it was very funny. She oh, talked boy. about cum all over her body, and I was like, this <laughs> is wild. It was, and she was right before us. And it was like, oh, oh this is wild. Oh, <laughs> it was boy. so descriptive, and it was wild. <laughs> That's a way to heat up the room. It was I, fun. I'm most curious, Keith. This is now dipping back into two weeks, but mm-hmm. you've missed two subsequent right. pods, so we've not gotten to talk about this. Keith, you had your uh, first foray into cancel culture. You oh, yeah. uh, you upset the entire state yeah. of Texas. Yeah, they're still they upset. Ca- they came <laughs> after you hard, and I am so got, delighted. Keith, and you I got know. canceled by Texas. Yeah, I'm not, and that, and then South by Southwest was canceled, <gasps> so I can't go redeem myself in Texas. Yeah. So Start, I'm still just a villain. Give me from the very okay. beginning what happened. Mm-hmm. We did eat the menu Whataburger. I did it while on the road. Now I ate. At Whataburger in Arizona. First mistake. Apparently, you can't eat in fast food chains outside of their home state mm-hmm. because franchises aren't supposed to maintain the same level of quality. Whatever. Have I think well, they should. Have we bit. mentioned Whataburger on the podcast? Because I had no idea what the fuck Whataburger no. was until I met you, Eugene. Whataburger is a, uh, it's like the in and out of Texas. It's the, well, and even, but less expensive and more uh, a larger menu. But I grew up next to it. I didn't eat much as a kid because I was more of a Dairy Queen kid. But I've had it like a million times. It's mm. it's the staple yeah. fast food of Texas. Mm-hmm. It's like this is the Texas fast food chain. Yeah. And, but it happens to also be in different parts of the Southwest. But Texas is like, this is our shit. We love Whataburger. I ate the Whataburger. Now, I want to say this review was not that negative. There were things I didn't <laughs> like. And it did start negative because I started with the chicken. And the chicken that I had... Plain and simple was very dry. Mm. I like. I don't know. I think it was your most negative. Eat the menu. Uh, think no, about I think it. Burger King's the most negative. Yeah. Uh, or no, Arby's. Arby's was so negative. Arby's might but, have been. But this yeah. one, yes. I love. It, we're like Keith. Tell us about the time, and he's starting this by doubling down, being like, "The mm. chicken was yeah. bad." It was. <laughs> you went, you not, went out the gate. Have, I don't go into these being like, "All right, I'm ready to fuck Texas." <laughs> I'm just being an honest reviewer. Yeah. I have standards. I'm a critic mm-hmm. <laughs> of the fast food nation, mm. and I, I am honest. And but I really did like a lot of that menu, and I fucking loved that what a catch. And all the people who were like, he liked the fish sandwich. Have you had the fish sandwich? Have you had the fish sandwich? How many places? Have you had the fish you, sandwich? <laughs> no. Who of course can't? not. And then, so you who? can't tell me that no, it's not I, the best I, thing. I got I to defend just fast food in general that no one in their fucking right mind. <laughs> What's which means fish? I think that is like one indicator that it just wasn't a good franchise. Yeah. Right. When you say the fish sandwich was yeah. better than all the chicken and hamburgers yeah. Yeah. at a it's fast food place. What, that is uh, insane. It burger. was delicious. I'm not, I'm just telling you. Mm-hmm. Th- it was, it f- was That must have been restaurant specific. I mean, you, you, well, lost, was delicious. you lost a Everyone, significant amount of credibility when you ate it in Arizona. True. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I... You know, Guys, I everyone think... knows that Arizona has the best fresh fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. Here's the thing, though. Uh, there Landlocked. are there are Whataburgers in Arizona. There are Whataburgers in New yeah. Mexico. And for those viewers, I really stood <laughs> sure, up for them. Sure. You know, it's not. Did you, have, all... did you have anyone in Arizona was like, "Thank yes, you"? Yes, actually, really? someone <laughs> was like, "Yes, I live in Arizona, and it is mostly okay." Oh. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but, 
I get so I get why Texas was upset. I didn't give it like but there were some people who were like, you have to eat it at the Corpus Christi location, the very first. Oh, that's, I'm like, that's, what? that's extreme. Yeah. I should have had it in Texas. I agree. I did like almost all the burgers a lot. I love the pat- patty melts. <clears throat> and I liked the flavors. I just thought the chicken was dry. And I thought that uh, if that was the, the biggest concern, <laughs> can is we, the chicken uh, was dry. Can you do your I'm sorry video now live on air while we play twinkly music? I don't feel sorry. Um, <laughs> oh my well, god! Okay, so so I didn't actually <laughs> intend for you to rehash all the things that you pissed them off about. Yeah, I well. more am wondering. Well, like, the whole if, thing is the best thing was even if uh, an entire state canceled Keith over something silly. We I think yeah. everyone who's mad about it also <laughs> is aware it's silly, and Keith is aware it's silly. Let's get that straight. Yeah, you don't. But Keith has not given into <laughs> poking the anvil. The, yeah, the every, anytime someone says something, he just re, he just responded in a tweet. <laughs> Well, so, maybe you should have better control of your franchises then. Yikes. So Keith is not the most engaged person on Twitter, but watching, <laughs> like, he got all these mean comments. And yes, as you said, he just started stoking the flames <laughs> and responding <laughs> back and being, you know, ex- explaining. Have you tried the fish? Have you tried the fish? Yes. Then you can't you talk. It. And then you were on the news how many times? I was on the actual TV news twice. I was written in three online journals. And I was mm-hmm. also on, I think, at least one radio station. Wow. So yeah. everyone, all of these, all this media in Texas yelling about this California YouTuber. Hey, no, every I think headline, headline, that's earned media. Every headline was like worse and worse. It started with just YouTuber reviews Whataburger. That was like the first headline. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and he's like, and he doesn't like it. And then the, the last one was like California YouTuber. Uh, like throws California in, like, socialist throw, YouTuber. Yeah, throws shade at Texas beloved Whataburger. It's like the, <laughs> making me such a villain. Oh, do you have a Here's mouse? the headline. It's YouTube star says Whataburger is like in and out meets Burger King. Throws shade about Texas chains chicken. <laughs> and then YouTuber Keith Habersberger has some choice words for Whataburger. Nice. The California based creator released his Whataburger video Wednesday and he was not kind. Keep in mind that Habersberger ordered from a Whataburger location in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This podcast, again, is brought to you by Shopify and Bubba Rose and Potluck and Poppet Pal and a million other businesses. Why so many? Because we're sponsored by Shopify and they do everything they can to support the independent businesses on their platform. So they included them in this sponsorship. You know, Shopify really does everything possible to support independent businesses. That's kind of why, like, we're naming these other businesses in mm-hmm. this moment. They actually do support their businesses more than just saying that they do. They are actually including them in this sponsored piece, which is very cool. Including us. Yeah. They help us start and sell and market our business. They manage our business. And Shopify powers independent businesses of all sizes so they can support you, even if you're small or if you're getting bigger. It's a really a great solution for any business out there. Yeah, really the best business partner you can have with 24-7 customer support. Because just because you're independent doesn't mean that you're not alone. So see all the ways Shopify is supporting independence at shopify.com slash independence. Not independence like Independence Day. Independence like you're independent. Go crush it. Shopify, supporting independence. So Keith, what would be your uh, contrite, like fake apology try- that tries to get the cancel culture to go away? Yeah. As, uh, as okay. many others Look. have done. I'm sorry that you guys found my comments mean. <laughs> that is normally That's how they all are. That's how they are. I'm sorry that you got upset. I'm sorry that the chicken I had was not up to your standards. I do think I may have made a mistake in going to an Arizona Whataburger. Mm. However, I gave the review of the food that I ate. I would like to say that next time I'm in Texas, I will try five of your favorite things to re-review them Mm. and if my mind is changed i will issue a full apology that said i will never apologize for standing (laughs) up what is right for what is right which is the fish sandwich it's good have you ever ordered (laughs) give it a try Uh, that's what i do the show is i have to order everything (laughs) right i have to so when i find something that's a little golden nugget yeah i need to sing its praises it's Mm -hmm. and someone else actually said like i've never ordered the what a catch i finally did and you know what this shit slaps (laughs) and i'm like okay see you gotta try it and also it's lent Mm. so now is the time where catholics have to eat fish on friday so i gave them a really good option there you go Mm. A good affordable option for all those Catholic Texans. <laughs> good eating fish. <laughs> Catholic Texans love fast food. Now, Keith, I do not believe that hashtag cancel Keith was trending or anything like that, right? Mm. No, that wasn't like that. That's a shame. <clears throat> I Whataburger was trending, and I think I had a part in that. Mm. I'm a little disappointed because 
I feel like that was, you know, we got all these people mad at us. They were mad at the, you. They were mad at the Try Guys. And we still didn't get hashtag cancel the Try Guys trending. Yeah. And every time that some, it's like hashtag Jake Party's over party. Right. What is it? Jake Paul's over Jake party. Jake Paul's over party. Jake uh, party, party, party. <laughs> <laughs> all the times that one of those trend, it seems to be great for them. Yeah. You know, maybe they lose subscribers real quick, but then they bounce right back. Should and everyone's I? like, why is Tana Mojo trending? Let me go follow her. Ooh, you know what? She seems to do some incendiary <laughs> shit. I'm going to give her a follow on Twitter, too. And all the <laughs> followers go up. I want to get us canceled. Yeah. I think that that is the missing element. You know, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Our subscribers, the, you know, we had a strong and mighty fan we a, base, but we, we plateaued. Good, we had, yeah. Actually, we, uh, the most recent video actually gave us our biggest, like, two-day mm -hmm. bump in a long time. That's oh. great to hear. You know it give us a bigger bump? Hashtag Try Guys is over <laughs> well, party. Yeah. So what we did in that video yeah. was start beef with a lot of other YouTubers. There you oh. go. And so we talked maybe about the it drama and the tea. We talked about it. Is there drama? Have people been like, oh, you guys are meddling? Like, I'm on Team Tati? Mm. No. Actually, people were just like... Someone saw me as like, I'm very interested in Tati's palette after seeing them. Oh, <laughs> good. Yeah. I actually had a very lovely interaction with James Charles and thank you. Oh, I saw for... it on Twitter. But okay, but let's let's be nasty, guys. <laughs> Enough of this sweet shit. What's Wait. gonna be the thing that cancels us? We're gonna go th around the table right now. Mm -hmm. Keith, we're gonna share our most cancelable cancelable mm. opinion. Mm. Keith says oh. that Whataburger is overrated. That the fish is delicious. <laughs> I would like to see us canceled. Yeah. Fellas, what you got? I mean, most people get canceled because they say something racist. racist. Okay, Eugene, what you got? <laughs> yeah. What's the what? How far can you go to be canceled properly so it boosts you, but not so canceled that you get? Okay, I'm gonna give you one. Yeah, you ready for this? I am someone that watched The Office when it was live on air. <gasps> I think it is. Michael Scott is one of the greatest characters in TV history. It was part of my personality before everyone else came around and was like, oh, I love The Office. I've watched the whole thing. Mm. Where's the twist? I think Parks and Rec is a better show. Fair amount of people canceled. agree with I that. Haven't, <laughs> I haven't watched Parks and Rec enough to know. I yeah. think that it's a stronger ensemble. I think it has mm. more heart. Wow. I think it's tighter in its later seasons, whereas The Office tapered off. I said it. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. that. Cancel that. Cancel <laughs> dry guys. Cancel. Okay, that's not enough. We gotta go. We gotta push further. Gotta go we gotta deeper. go deeper. You're yeah. basically just asking unpopular opinions, right? Uh, What's that, Eugene? You're Wait, did you just say BTS is overrated? <laughs> oh Eugene, you can't have the oh army come after you. Don't do that, guy. Army, please don't attack. <laughs> Eugene, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> that is crazy. Scary. The army. It does Why would you me. do that? Yeah. Oh my god, BTS army. I'm so sorry. Mm. Hashtag Try Guys is over party. I I didn't want this. <laughs> That's one way to get canceled quickly is to yeah. upset the K-pop fandom. Yeah, for sure. They, they're vicious. Eugene, I feel like you do have a fair amount of unpopular opinions because uh, you know mm. you call it like it is. You're telling it how it does. <laughs> you're looking at the people and you're saying this is how Eugene Leong does. That leads to our next segment, <laughs> good or bad, where we give Eugene a list of things in pop culture and he declaratively says good or bad based oh, on the massive success of the ranking franchise. Oh, I like this. Uh, Eugene, you obviously the ranked. The options are good or bad. Right? The options are good or bad. Okay. And there's no middle ground. Okay. Let's, start, let's start in the comedy world. Rebel Wilson, good or bad? Good or bad. Uh, <laughs> <oof>. <laughs> No, this one's tough. This one's tough. tough. I agree. This one's tough. It's There's tough. moments. One, it's There's tough, moments. But it's tough. I'm going to say bad. Okay. Wow. Rebel All right. Sorry, bad. Rebel. You're fucking out. Hashtag Rebel wow. Wilson's wow. over party. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, Camilla Cabello. Camilla. <laughs> you are picking. <laughs> we are picking borderline. I know because that's how you get Okay. Canceled. I will say bad. Wow. Bad. I agree. Wow. 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 Cabello, but bad. you know that like she and I are really close friends. I'm going to. Okay. She's going to be upset to hear that. I do <laughs> like that's the. There's one song that's very spooky chords that's out now that I like. The new one. My Oh My. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that one's good. good. First good. good one she's made. Yeah. I'm noticing some songs I hear on TikTok and then I hear the full song. I'm like, oh, that's a TikTok song. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like Dua Lipa, I heard that on TikTok before I heard it on like a full like Spotify. Which song? Just the I don't know. Oh. You know, the one, you know. The the one you like? Physical. <laughs> yeah, it's a great song. I like Dua Lipa. I didn't I wasn't on board with her at first, but I was wrong. She's great. Yeah. Sweet potato fries. Good or bad? Ooh. Bad. Yeah. Whoa! I agree. I agree. Most and of reasoning. the time they're bad. And reasoning. This but, is a but with ranch dressing. Oh, amazing. You guys are crazy. Uh, I yeah. think they're like 
they're good because they're fries, but like compare them to really good French fries, mm-hmm. I'd much rather have really good French fries. I know, but you get a little. You're gonna half look and me half? in the eye. You say, "Oh, you would always rather have sweet potato fries." No, but that's not the question. The question is, that, are they no. good or are they bad? Well, and I love. No, it. but that's the question: is are they leaning more towards bad or good? Because I don't get a middle ground. No, no middle ground. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. a lot. I will just I, like I to disagree. say for, for listeners at home, Eugene is drinking a full bottle of cold brew concentrate mm. from like the bottle, a, but like like un- an ounce of it. <laughs> un- 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 uh, filtered with water. And I've sleepy. never seen him calmer. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing, good or bad? Ooh. Bad. Oh, wow, what? Dang. Are you, Hot you take. out of your bad. mind? I've and, always and, wanted to fish. And <laughs> you've never fished? Not really. I tried fishing what? once in a video of us with my brother, but we just caught a crab. We gotta oh, go deep yeah. sea fishing sometime. I would it's love it. a whole it. experience. Dude, that's a great video. I, I that did that a video. And nobody times. feels sorry for fish because fish are dumb. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I do like sharks. The sharks are What do you mean? You scary. Like you like sharks to eat? Or no, as, no, as no, no. I think sharks are cool. You think they're sharks cool dudes? Are people. They're sharks are people too. Yeah, sharks are cool people. But sharks are cool there and they're really good for the environment. And there's whole things that like apparently it's not that dangerous to swim with sharks. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> Most yeah. of them. It's kind of fine. We've done it. <laughs> you guys did it, right? Yeah. yeah. No cage? No, no cage. cage. You went no cage? Yes, Miles. Wow. My yeah. bosses are cool. <laughs> you should watch our video. It's I'm intense. See it now. Do you not watch our videos? <laughs> I don't know. Not I, the sometimes I forget we did them. We did so many. Catalog. I feel like we've talked about this in the pod, but that's the only video I would re-edit if we could. Of really? our entire you know, really? hundreds of videos. Yeah. In what way? Um, it's That's just, the only one? Uh, that's the most one uh, because it was a branded video and they wanted it to be really short oh, and yeah. so it's this oh. we had to fight for it to be five minutes long and it, it, it like they wanted a two minute video and it's such an exciting visceral adventure I feel like there's there was a lot more mm-hmm. there you're right I remember the day after we did that or the night of after we swam with the sharks Zach was like did we get enough should we go back out there tomorrow? <laughs> and I was like, are you fucking nuts? We got plenty. Everybody yeah. was freaking out. Are you yeah. crazy? But that's just a, sort of a testament to like Zach's like perfectionist mind is like, maybe we didn't get enough. Maybe we should put our lives at risk again just to make sure we get a good video out of it. That's awesome. I don't remember that. But that sounds very much like I was like we were clinging the to the side of the boat, like yeah. whimpering well, it was funny for dear yeah, life. I remember being near I was you. So scared. Ned actually had this 180 where he was uh, like scared to death. Yeah, it and was then scary. You were like, "We should go out there again." I was like, "Zach, it's, uh, I mean, it's because you have nothing to live for." <laughs> <laughs> and I said it as a say- as a joke in the in the moment because also I was like down to go too. Uh-huh. I was like, "Yeah, sure, okay." And then I was like, "Well, why is Ned so scared?" Oh, he has, he has. Many things to lose. Things live for. to lose. Things to lose. Yeah. That was, mm. I think, like the first week I had dated Maggie. Or like within the mm. first month. I I sharks. met her and then it was like, oh, I have to go to Florida to swim with sharks. And she's like, What? Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> I just had a flash to us being 65 years old, still doing this podcast. Speaking <laughs> of older, as you guys know, you got to be older to get drunk. And oh, you're going to say to get the coronavirus. To get, <laughs> no. Jesus. Like, Jesus. We have, we have entire miles. Cancel miles. 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 Miles Nation is up. No, I swear to God, if you guys get Miles Nation is over party trending before <laughs> Try Guys oh, is over yeah. partying, I <laughs> will be so pissed off i will be yeah. devastated it would probably be more helpful for me to be canceled than for you guys to be canceled because it would give me more clout to be canceled than you guys i think everyone's just gonna be like who are you yeah, exactly and they're gonna be like what the fuck's up with this guy follow him on instagram I guess, yeah <laughs> see uh, what I, crazy thing he says next <laughs> yeah. you know, it's a huge pain in the ass too is when you click on the hashtag of like someone's over party and you're like what's are they canceling about and every post is just why is hashtag mm-hmm. this thing yeah. trending you're like get out of i need to you're, you're clogging up my feet. I need to get to the source. You got to be older to get drunk. And uh-huh. um, we have people get drunk and email us in at I'm drunk try guys Ooh, at gmail.com. I love this segment. It is a great segment. People are always hitting me on the DMs asking, what's the email? Well, just think, what do I feel right now? And that's the email. <laughs> it's I'm drunk try guys at gmail.com. This is coming from somebody named Splendid. Splendid is writing in. Splendid is wasted, and she's got a conundrum that she needs you guys' help on. <gasps> so today we're going to help out Splendid. Got you, Splendid. And here's her problem. First of all, just want you to know I love you guys and the Try Guys team. Thank you for the bomb content. <laughs> Always an advice that'll go for miles. Bomb con. Now for the T. And then there's a T emoji. I've got a crush on my coworker. 
Ooh. I made myself get over it. But tonight, he reignited it after many, many drinks on a coworker night out. I don't know what to do. He's a good seven years older than me. Maybe it bothers him, but it doesn't bother me. I feel like he likes me, but I can never fully tell. Today at work, we both got in early, and we spent a lot of time talking. Then he made a point to solely tell me that he ended things with his month-long fling while making direct eye contact. <laughs> we went about our day. Feels like he's always looking to looking at me. So after our company happy hour, we go to local our local go-to bar. We got inebriated. Still inebriated, I made cookies for happy hour. He hands out around the bar and tells people the amazing woman over there, haha, me, made them. <laughs> I think we are going to sit next to each other, but a few seats further next to other coworkers. So instead, we are in diff convos, but still looking at each other occasionally, making eye contact. Then the night is getting close. The, uh, there's only a few of us left. He moves closer. Then as I'm mid-convo with somebody, he leans into my other coworker while staring directly at me and says, isn't her hair amazing? Maybe because it's just because I'm drunker right now, but I can't get over that comment. I'm a curly hair girl. My hair takes a lot of care. It means a lot. And maybe <laughs> I just want to have him have to have a crush on me too. Uh, well, maybe he just wants attention or maybe he likes me. What do you think? Wow. I love well, the detail. The yeah. way that she described it makes me think he likes her. Yeah. Right. But also she's drunk and maybe she's seeing things and writing things down that aren't true. So yeah, that's, that's hard to say. For sure. Like reading too much into it. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, everything. But the hair comment. Hair comment's pretty telling. Mm-hmm. Although I definitely feel like maybe they're just being friendly. They're drunk. They're being like, your hair's so great. Like, you know? Yeah. The quick- I mean, t- the the what about the deep eye contact and saying that he broke up with his girlfriend? Yeah, that's pretty big, I think. I mean, it's yeah. only been a month long, so it's not like that big of a deal. But mm-hmm. to specifically say that, mm. I think that's that's a sign. That would be a sign for me. Yeah, Someone looks you in the eye and says, I broke up. Anyway, I'm not with, with my- and them anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm, see, I'm picking stuff up. I want to fuck Ned right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. seeing just in this moment. Yeah, I can see that. Inter- inner office romance, while frowned upon by PR, is inherently mm, HR. <laughs> oh, yeah, by HR. Sorry. <laughs> PR, <laughs> it can be a big win. <laughs> big night. Yeah, I, that's a good one. <laughs> Come work for us. You'll find the love of your life. Hey! <laughs> uh, while frowned upon by HR, is inherently thrilling, with the caveat, mm. I just want to make sure to our drunk f- listener that this is not someone you said that he is older. Yeah. He's not someone in a position of power over you. Right. Want right. to make sure that 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 the, that is the right thing. But I'm going to assume in this case, which honestly, even if it is consensual, I just want you to keep that in mind. If he is someone who is directly over you, maybe it's not the best idea because mm-hmm. you don't want to yeah. mess that up. But let's keep this fun let, for the let, sake yeah, of it. Yeah, let's imagine they're in different departments. Sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. just He's like in the ice cream that. department. She's in the sprinkle zone. <laughs> exactly. Sounds like a great it, place it to is. work. It sounds like a fun job. <laughs> There's something about like the naughtiness of like, oh, we're coworkers. We shouldn't. That makes it sexier. Yeah. I, I guess th- so. It's exciting. I... Can was copy your job. bare ass on the copy machine. <laughs> Eugene, you know me. I'm a sweaty boy. Oh, Keith, you're sometimes a little sweaty. Oh, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> but you know, I, I combat that by you know what everybody does. I use deodorant, but I specifically use native deodorant. I love it. It's a very safe. It's formulated without aluminum, parabens, or talc. It's also vegan and never tested on animals. So it really fits, you know, the sort of crunchy granola life that I've been living more and more lately. But what's great is that it's not like a crazy difficult change. You know, sometimes you're doing, you, you want to venture into the, you know, the more ergonomic deodorants, but they don't actually work. Well, native deodorant actually works. Uh, you know, it's got something for everyone. It comes in a wide variety of options for men, women, and even teens. That's right. Even you stinky teens <laughs> can, can fix your pits. I mean, that's true. That's when you start stinking. Then they offer an unscented option and a baking soda free formula for those with sensitivities like Becky. She can't do baking soda ones but she really? still have, there is one for Becky. And if you're still not convinced Eugene, if I still haven't gotten no, you on no, the native I need to deodorant be convinced train now. then just check out the over 9,000 five star reviews from happy customers who make the switch to native. And if you don't want to shop for it in person, you can do it for a discount with our code. That's right for 20% off your first purchase visit nativedeodorant.com slash tryguys. That's nativedeodorant.com slash tryguys for 20 20- Twenty percent off your first purchase. It's good. It's good. I used it, guys. It's in my home. Keith Habersberger endorses it. So Zach, you're talking about like that forbidden love factor. Oh, yeah. Forbidden love. I think that's why 
honestly, the four of us are as close as we are. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. in the early days of BuzzFeed, they were like, guys, you can't do it. You're four producers working on one project. It's it's insane. It'll never work. And we're like, oh, oh, tell me I can't. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. then we ran through the streets at night and we found each other. We'll stay up late together working, <laughs> yeah. editing <laughs> these two and a half minute videos painstakingly together. Yeah. Eugene, do you think that this man likes this girl? What? <laughs> What did you John? say to me, Miles? Ah, I didn't mean to I was, What did you say to Eugene? No, look him in the eyes her. and you ask him that question again. Uh, no, do you think this man girl likes the man? Do you think the man likes Yeah, do you think the man likes a girl? Yes, for sure. I don't think most guys have any semblance of game. And it <laughs> sounds like this guy this guy is pooling every every <laughs> like base that he can run past to let her know no or telegraph I am interested in you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From his perspective, he's just like, fuck, I will say something about her hair. You have hair. I mean he yeah, his it's, coach it's is just pretty... holding up a sign that says steal. <laughs> he basically said <laughs> no, no um, trickery. Uh Girlfriend I had gone. Yeah. Uh, cookies you made amazing. Look at her hair, <laughs> gorgeous. Like he's he's yeah. just like a full on like yeah. like I, spread my legs. Let's go. As someone, <laughs> as a man Whoa. who had no game and probably continues to have no game, I will say that the just stick around till it's really late yeah. is really like the o- only move you got. Is like I'm just gonna stay around and mm-hmm. hope that we're the last two together. And then there's that moment where like other friends like, hey, uh, Sydney, do you want to ride? And it's like, oh, no, I'm good. I, I think I'm going to go with, with Max. And it's like, well, but Max was on the other side of town. You're, you're on my way, Sydney. I got you. And you're like, no, yeah. um, I, no I'm, we're, I think we're going to get tacos. Taco? You want to get? Yeah, we're yeah, just going to chat with Max. I think we're just going to stand outside. <laughs> Sydney, the bar's closed. They're telling us, yeah, no, um, okay. Mm. Cool, cool. Yeah, Wait, I think so I'm just going to. What, oh, okay. what was your... Uh, like ace in the whole flirtation tactic. Yeah, it's a good I'm question. I'm curious because most of you would qualify oh. as, as like nice guys, I would say. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like right. guys that well. most people would be like, that guy's, not, you're not like bad boys. You're not over there like, you know, fucking somebody and then throwing them the curb. Mm-hmm. You guys are like, you know, they'd be like, yeah. oh, he's really nice. First yeah. thing I do, knock into her, spill my drink all over, and I say, why'd you <laughs> knock into me? Then I make her buy me another drink. <laughs> Whoa. Then, <laughs> then I leave. <laughs> They don't see me for two years. I come back and I, I've, I've been working out. I've shaved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm always curious. I used to. There's a fun thing about me. So when I was touring right after college with Mission Improbable, mm. I was always in like a different city, a different like place all the time. So like I, I was just like, there's no way for me to like actually have a relationship. So I would just try to like meet people for it with them. Maybe I'd make out with somebody, you know, who knows? Um, and what I would do was peacock. So I had these really <laughs> ugly jackets, really <laughs> ugly windbreakers. And I would put a really ugly windbreaker on. And then I would put a really ugly windbreaker on over that windbreaker and hide the first windbreaker. So I'd, st- <laughs> I'd, go, I'd go up to order a drink next to someone at the bar. And then inevitably, they would comment on the windbreaker. It's so ugly. How could they not comment Great on conversation it? Starter. And then I would yeah. talk and realize that I'm not, they would realize I'm not a crazy person. Yeah. And then I would take off the first windbreaker to reveal an <laughs> uglier windbreaker. And it was so funny every time. <laughs> that inevitably she's like I've got to introduce you to my friends and then I would like make friends and I would like it, if nothing so, else it was wow. just a great way to make friends because it would work with guys and girls just uh-huh. to like have someone to talk that to that is a tactic That's it was a cool. tactic that is it was premeditated it was very well like I did it on accident I was yeah. like oh this this is a way to make friends. It's yeah. just a way to break the ice. That's yeah. good. That's um, it, it also is was featured in that awful VH1 show, The, the Game. Pickup Art. Oh, really? Yeah. Or is oh. it called pick The Pickup Art? Artist? Whatever it is. Wait, yeah, is the it, they artist. say to wear a bad with, jacket? With mystery? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, something like that. The idea of peacocking is like one of those tricks. Ned, is it? Ned yes or no, did huh. you own a copy of his book? No, no. Because <laughs> I had, I like, definitely had friends who owned the book and they all passed it around oh and it got gosh. to me at one yeah, point in middle school. We all read that middle book. Middle school? Yeah, that's when it came out. Whoa. Oh, wow. This yeah. was in in Whoa. college is when the, my group of friends were yeah. talking about it. It's I never crazy. had that book. I never watched that show. No, but it wasn't what you, well, you were doing it naturally. No, I was just a natural. <laughs> well, he believed in peacocking and and negging. He that's, was big on. That's the grossest. And I'll that's always gross. remember there there was this one thing that mystery did. We're no, we are not condoning the show. It is no. so ridiculous. And yeah. he would wear like the dumbest steampunk outfits. But he did this one trick that is burned into my mind. Keith, put your your hands out like this, Mm -hmm. where he would go to girls in a bar and they would have their fingers separated. And he was like circling around. He's like, do you want to see a trick? And he circles his finger around. Oh, "Oh, it's working on Keith. And then his fingers get closer until they touch. 
And then he would say, give me a kiss on the cheek. All oh, right, I'll gross. see you later. And then he would go, that. I'll see you. Wow, I can't believe that works, though. That was cool. You just circle your fingers it's around a, their fingers. I and felt, then they. I want to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can I kiss you on the cheek? Yeah. Not today. But then, but then his whole thing was, I'm going to go away. Maybe I'll see you later. And then when they see each other again, it's like, oh, there was that guy who did that crazy thing. I can't get him out of my mind. Whoa. That's how I met Maggie, um, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I met my current girlfriend by my, the first thing I said to her was, "You look like a little snack monkey." <laughs> what the heck? Love because we were standing by the snack table, and we we're both really chowing down. And I just looked at her and I went, "You're a little snack monkey, huh?" Was and, that the voice? Yeah, she and thought it was. was the she voice? laughed. She thought it was funny. I was just like. A little snack monkey, huh? Like the kind of like, because we we're both chowing down. You're both snacking. We we're both snacking. But it, we always talk about this that if she. And she was also flinging her poop at people. Yeah, party. she was throwing poop. <laughs> if she didn't think I was cute, that would have been the creepiest, worst thing to say ever. Yeah. But here's a move that you can try at home. Mm. If you're at a bar with a girl and so another guy or whoever you're dating, like your, your other person you're with, if somebody comes up and tries to flirt with them, try to help them out while winking at the person you're with. Oh, uh. interesting. As if to say, we're on the same team. Let's entertain this like loud mouth person who's coming here to try to pick you up. Like kind of like it's like play acting. You just go, oh, Steve, Steve, you should meet Rebecca. And then Steve is like, I actually work in finance. And you're like, Rebecca, he works in finance. This is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I just become that. the wingman of the other person? Yes, because That's it fun. puts you on the same team as them. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, oh, this person like isn't super egocentric and they're able to like take themselves not that seriously you know in primates it was observed because you always hear about like alpha culture that uh in in what is it called congregations of monkeys i don't know what a, a pack is called <laughs> congregation they uh women would sneak off in the bushes with the beta male and they would get impregnated by the nicest beta male and then go back and pretend it was the alpha's baby <gasps> It's observed in nature, and I believe it's called cucking. And now the <laughs> the alt right uses it in a nasty way. <laughs> oh, God. but it's but it's a real thing that happens in nature, and I always thought it was really cool. Huh. And actually, uh, the like animal populations will like go through. Uh, it'll like get regulated between beta males and alpha males so that there's like a balance because obviously if too many people are doing the sneak off in the uh -huh. bushes strategy, then all of a sudden someone that just is like, oh, fight everybody and steal everyone's girl that uh is like that will then shift the balance of power you can note you can look mm -hmm. at like the population of beta males versus alpha males and some lizard populations will like fluctuate and then find a specific like happy medium percentage and normally the opening line is the monkey goes up to another monkey and is like wow you're such a monkey monkey aren't you mm -hmm. i want to talk more about lizards I, I, we never talk about lizards on this podcast, and I think that is a shame. Yeah. I think lizards are dope. They're so cool. Yeah. Uh, you were trying to get a Komodo dragon or some shit in some sketch you did. Oh, yeah. I made What's a going on there? I made a sketch about doing a Kickstarter to buy a Komodo dragon. I think mm. you should get a Komodo dragon. Yeah. Cool. Cool. They get yeah. big. They're yeah. huge. They're really dangerous, too. They're like very the way dangerous. that I brought Bowie in, same energy with same a Komodo exactly. dragon. <laughs> lizards are dope. My brother had an iguana. It died of an eye infection. Uh, oh. It also got loose in the house several times. It was <laughs> dangerous. It was very germ filled uh, i but i lizards are dope how big was the iguana <laughs> it was it got to a good like two and a half feet by the end Whoa, of it was a wow. big ass lizard Jesus. and then it's eye rotted i out. mean that's a and pretty good like pickup technique I have a like, lizard. Ooh. Just do you no, have, have a lizard? lizard? Yes. Talk about lizards with people. people Keith love... takes off his windbreaker and, and I have a lizard, a lizard on my shoulder. <laughs> I I do think lizards are awesome. I think we don't do enough lizard content here at the Try Guys uh, because like think about the lizard. The lizard is very cool. It's one of the only animals that regrows like parts of its body. Yep. It mm -hmm. does it as a defense thing. It's very smart. They lick their eyeballs. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Right? I own the lizard. <laughs> right? Yeah, lizards Have are you cool. ever been to Florida and when it's lizard time and yeah. all the iguanas are fucking everywhere? Especially they're, when they're territorial against they're, each other. they're in the pool and they're just swimming in the pool like it's their pool. <laughs> so I went to a hotel and it was covered in lizards. <laughs> yeah. And it was so fun. It, I was like that. Just moving their little hands, yeah, like got, getting I, across the water, there scooting. there were like lots of little lizards, but then there were just some big daddies. Oh. There were just these like three four foot of iguanas that were just on the diving board. I'm like, well, I guess nobody uses the diving board today. <laughs> there's, there's a giant dragon on oh it. Oh my God. It was great. I remember that. It was when I met Debbie Lovato. 
Whoa. Debbie Lomato? Debbie Roboto. Debbie Roboto. Debbie Roboto. Debbie Roboto. Debbie Roboto is a huge uh, lizard queen. She's, I mean, there were a lot of lizards there. Anyhow, I like lizards. And lizards are cool. I think yeah. we should do more lizard stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, Eugene, the, my my pickup strategy like is just to, just to find a common interest. You know, talk about something that gets us both excited. Yeah. Whether it's lizards <laughs> or usually like travel. Your common, that is your pickup line? No, I don't have, I just walk up and say hi and <laughs> smile and make eye contact. And That's you good, usually yeah. get to know whether someone is interested in talking to you or not. That's, That's cool, true. man. But isn't the point of a pickup line is to convert interest that wasn't there. It was to create interest. Mm. Mm. Eugene, what is your killer move? Is it a hair flip? Is it mm. you do a little turn? How do you pick up lizards? How do I pick up lizards? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like leave little pieces of raw chicken behind me. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Eugene, you nasty. Yeah, works, I like it. Works on lizards, works on men, works on ladies, Ooh, everybody. They're just, just, just like, mm, I just want to gob up Ooh, this raw chicken. Where is it coming from? Gobble my, up those giblets. My pocket, my hands, who knows? Ooh, you got to follow me to find Ooh. out. Ooh. Yeah, that's, so, yeah, yeah, that's my tip. Don't know yeah. if I can stop that joke. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a good tip. I like that. Uh, well, I owned a lizard <gasps> when oh, I was yeah. growing up. I, I got a bearded dragon in first grade. His name was Spike because I was very creative. Yeah. And uh, I, it was this thing where I would go to the pet store and I would stare at this lizard. And I was like, oh, he's so beautiful. He's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. If you've never seen bearded dragons, they're, they're like, Desert lizards. I have no idea how I'm going to describe what they look like. Anyway, they're they're from the desert. They look I think like they're, lizards. Yeah. They're, they're lizards. <laughs> they're, they're dry. They're Scaly. they're dry. They're spiky, but like they're fun to pet because it's like so, and yeah. then underneath their little chin, it's very I like soft. That you're trying to describe something called a bearded dragon. I think the description's pretty much in the title. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and it's true. It does look like it has a beard. It's very yeah. dragon esque. Yeah. Its face looks like a dragon. Uh, but. You know, I made that promise with my parents that every kid has made. We're like, no, 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 I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to walk my lizard three times a day. I'll be in charge of feeding it. I got this. Mom and dad, just trust me. And then about a week in, uh, I, I totally gave up on it. Yeah. I would, though, I would build, um, you know, those like cardboard blocks. They were like not Legos. but yes. you would, yeah. yes. yes. So I would make little mazes for Spike and I would have him run through and then he would always burst through the wall <laughs> and I would have to quickly grab him before he scrambled Ran through on the it. house. <laughs> but anyway, my dad had to feed him crickets, yeah. live crickets. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. it was this massacre where you would dump the bag of crickets and Spike would just go fucking nuts. I mean, for about 95% of his life, he was sedentary. He didn't do shit. But mm. when, because they're in the desert, they conserve they their, their energy. They're under a heat lamp. But when the, when the crickets come out, oh, game over. Mm. But <laughs> inevitably, we, you know, it's just a plastic bag that you... You, you take the top of the cage, you rip a hole, and you just shake crickets out. Mm -hmm. And so about one to five crickets would escape a month, I would uh -huh. say. Mm -hmm. And so we had just the constant chirping of crickets in my house oh. throughout many years of my childhood because crickets Whoops. just escaped and made a home and, and made a lovely lovely life for themselves wow you not only kept a lizard as a pet, but <laughs> some crickets. A colony of crickets. And how did Spike pass? Spike in his later days. So I, I then got I got cats and and uh -oh. no 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 it's not what you think. <laughs> Cooper, my cat, would lay on top of Spike's cage because of the heat and mm -hmm. also the the lizard smell. Mm -hmm. And so I imagine poor Spike was just traumatized by the probably presence also of also like the air quality for Spike got very dander filled. <laughs> I he probably bet. suffocated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, he lived for years like that. Oh. But I uh yeah, one day I, I was in high school. I mean he lived a long time. First wow. first grade to high school. A long time. He shed his Jesus, skin. yeah. He not I guess snakes well, do that. Yeah. I don't I was know. confused with I feel the bad story. for Spike. All I've heard about was your cat Cooper. <laughs> What, yeah, I've never about this. Yeah, I've never heard, never heard about this. Yeah, never heard about this. Keith, Keith is obsessed with lizards. Oh, yeah. how, you guys, how dare you keep this from hashtag him? Hashtag justice for Spike. Hashtag try Zach, guys is you're over canceled. party. You're canceled. You're yeah. canceled for keeping yeah, the lizard away. I abused the lizard. <laughs> well, if you want to find out how you yourself can be canceled, we've got some good and often progressively more and more confusing advice on this podcast <laughs> as, as Miles continues to try new things in his life and <laughs> turns those into segments. So this next segment is called advice that will go for miles with miles bon, bon signore. Signore. 
It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune in to your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone be ready, Miles Nation. Miles Nation. This is DJ Sammy Johnson. This next segment is advice that'll go for miles. Advice that'll go for <laughs> wow. miles. What's up, Miles Nation? Wow, DJ Woo. Sammy. How'd you do that effect on his voice where he sounded like a little little DJ demon? I'm a little editor. Oh. I, wow. Me thinks myself a St- podcast Stay in it, stay editor. in it, stay in it. What's up, Miles Nation? <laughs> do you want to be as spicy as an eggplant? Mm. Uh-uh. Spiciest dick shaped food. Do you want to be a steak dinner? Mm. Well, hell yeah. yeah. Your skin is as dry as the desert, and you are going to want to pour moisture on it, Ned. I feel personally attacked. The Sahara Desert. Spicy chicken lo mein. Apple fritters. Rub noodles <laughs> on your face. <laughs> what these all have in common is oil. Uh-huh. Oh. And what we all have in common is a beard. Put coconut oil in your beard. Hmm. Put coconut oil in your beard. <laughs> I think you meant Saudi Arabia. Put coconut oil in your <laughs> I know, beard. Like the Sahara Desert's not very oil. <laughs> oil. Put coconut oil in your beard. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And Have you been gonna, doing this? I did it once. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it out. Let me set the scene for you. I'm standing in my bathroom. Saturday. Picture it. It's Saturday night. The night is about to be upon me. I look in my As medicine. As in you're about to go out <laughs> or you're about to go to bed? I'm about to go to sleep. Okay. The <laughs> night is upon me. I've showered, washed my balls, washed my dick, sure. washed my butt. Uh-huh. And I, butt. And I washed my face. And I spy a little jar of coconut oils in my known cabinet, milady. <laughs> and I took it and I saw that it was chunky. It was dry. It was old. It was not pleasant to put on your skin. So I took a big glob of it, and naturally I rubbed it in my beard. And that is how I keep my beard healthy. You, but you did it once? I did it once. I have so many thoughts. But oil is good for beards. It is good for beards. Ned, do you use an argon oil or a coconut oil? Yeah, I think I have a, a beard oil mm. that's, that's made out of like argon oil. Well, if you don't have the cash, spring for a cocoa oil. It's like four dollars. Yep. <laughs> also about four dollars. But what you want to do is have a big fluffy beard. <clears throat> Keith. I can't grow one. Mm. This is the this is what I can do over here. What's fun about coconut oil is it's antimicrobial. It promotes beard growth. Mm. It helps cure colds, infections. It helps you stimulate your growth. It helps you smell <laughs> everything. You already specified beard growth, so what other growth? Miles, I want to make fun of you, but I, I am so firmly on Team Coconut Oil. It is yeah. so versatile. Mm-hmm. You can cook with it. Yeah. It's got a higher... Yeah, you can put it in your hair. Higher that's, fat. That's Use true. it for my scalp, my dry uh, little scalp. You sometimes. put it in your scalp? Mm-hmm. See, I've only been putting it on my face once. I, I might be speaking out of turn here. I think Maggie used it. There was a period where she was using it as a makeup remover. Yeah, it can be used as a makeup remover. Yeah, it's like you can mm-hmm. do so much with it. But you want to get triple filtered, ultra distilled coconut oil because otherwise it'll clog your face and you'll be a big pus balloon. Yeah, you, oh, it, no one it, wants that. It yeah. can be bad because it's oil. Oh, oil. So if you, you have to use the right kind of oil. Don't use canola we, oil. I've made that some, mistake once. Put some coconut oil in, in my dog's food. <laughs> really? I think it's good for his hair. something. Yeah, you it's for his coconut? hair. Yeah, they really? Used, uh, when I was a kid, we put vegetable oil in our dog's food. It was good for their coat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. maybe if you eat. Like a hair commercial, but for your dog. Yeah, it was yeah. supposed to be good for their coat. Way it, better than lubing my dog up and just rubbing the coconut oil all over. All over and the coconut dog. oil has, like, like, it's kind of a liquid, kind of a solid. Uh-huh. It's uh-huh. A, just got a very low melting point, right? Yeah. It, like basically your hands are the melting point. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, because you uh-huh. said it was all clumpy. That's normal. That's just related to the temperature outside. Well, normally, but it's barely old coconut oil, so it was a little chunky, even my it's beard. It's still oil. 
I know it shouldn't have been oily. You should just rub it in your hands longer. I maybe, but it, see, because I've dealt with it before. <laughs> Mine's always a solid. At I home. know what you're saying, Zach. I get it. <laughs> it's like a wax. I, if I must counsel her, I must make the oil disagree. doesn't like dry. Out. That's what you'd think. <laughs> But my oil dried out. Here's a riddle oil, for you. Yeah, oil doesn't dry out. That's a great point. But it doesn't I, have any water. That's the whole point. It's, a, it's just, a miracle of Hanukkah. You just bear with me for a <laughs> second. I will, I will. If you just stick with me, the oil is dry. I'm pretty sure it's because it's winter <laughs> and it's colder. And so the oil gets solidified. more solid the colder I, it agree gets. Agree to disagree. Guys, it's great on this for beers. It's That's what I'm <laughs> saying. But here's what I'm thinking probably happened. Somebody like put their hand in a fucking, you know, like they took a knife, they put it in some uh, butter or some cheese. And then they also put it in the coconut oil. So now the coconut oil has a little cheese or butter in it. We oh, use that <laughs> just just so, sure. so you rub the cheese in your in your so, beard. So I think what happened was we had it in the kitchen for a while, and then it moved its way into the bathroom. So it was being used as a food group, and now it's being used as a beauty group. Mm-hmm. And I think that it's the, confusing what happened, to know what to do. It's hard. It's, it's versatile. It's, true. it's versatile. So now I think we've got the food oil in the bathroom, and then. Um, <clears throat> Miles, uh, an, an important question here: Do you, Are you a night shower? Uh, I rarely shower. Okay. Oh, at okay. all? Because you, you said that you <laughs> you just clean. Maybe I don't want to dwell on this. You just cleaned your nuts before bed. Is that like you don't shower oh. before bed, but you just give a little? No, you said he showered. Well, rinse. I was f- okay. Truthfully, the reason I took a shower is because I was feeling ill and I thought I had the coronavirus. But it turns <laughs> oh out, I, it turns out I don't. What were your symptoms? <laughs> I had a fever. I went to the hospital. They said you have the coronavirus. You have? Wait, you know, did I'm you just actually kidding. have a fever? I, no, 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 when, no. when was this? This was on Saturday night. I was this like Saturday night. This no, but yeah, this the past Saturday night. I was feeling it's like Monday. I like, I have been taking my temperature every hour. You're on sure. The hour. What were your symptoms? Uh, I just like I. He doesn't okay, have a cough. He's fine. I don't have a cough. But yeah. let me. T- be honest here's what happened i went to a korean barbecue and i ate so much food that my uh-huh. gag reflex started to hurt because different my different virus. belly was full i woke and then i immediately went home and was like i have an enormous headache i'm sweating i have the coronavirus and sarah was like no you just ate too much beef no, <laughs> yeah you just, you just are a glut yeah you're just insane and so it turns out i don't think i have a coronavirus because i've been taking my temperature don't have a temperature don't have a cough my throat don't have is, a temperature <laughs> i don't have a temperature zero degrees and uh, i'm not i i don't have the corona but i was in fear of it because I read a lot of inflammatory things online. Sounds like you thought you had it because you're nearby Asian people. Wow. Hashtag Miles Nation. Wow. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's Miles true. just got canceled. Do you I see the kind of people that the Try Guys hire? I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> Hashtag right. the Try Guys is over party. Get it trendy. Yeah, get it Well, do you, if you want to hear more about coronavirus, check us out on <laughs> patreon.com <laughs> slash Try Guys. We'll be talking all about it on the Afterpod, the yeah. Try Guys Post Thoughts Podcast. Make mm-hmm. sure to subscribe. Make sure you support the podcast by checking out our new merch on TryGuys.com. We just released a whole ladies oh, yeah. line. Ladies. It's got ladies and lizards. Leggings and fitted t-shirts. Things that we've been working on for they months cute. and months and months and months from your suggestions. So check it out. And, you know, make sure to subscribe. If you're listening, you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe, you doing? raise five stars. It helps other people discover the podcast. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Keith, hit us with the official Trap Out theme song. We've been walking through these hallways for (laughs) what seems like thousands of years. And we'll never get to where we're going because we are crying too many tears. Thanks for listening to (sighs) the Trap Out. Mouth sounds. Until next time, (laughs) stay beautiful.